For most websites, images are a very important content element. So I wanna dive a little bit deeper into the process of uploading and working with images in the WordPress content editor. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of this post I created in the previous video, and I'm gonna insert an image block here. So as we saw before, we can upload an image, we can add an image from the media library, or we can insert from a URL. This time I'm gonna upload an image. So I'm actually just gonna drag an image file in. And you see when I drop it, it will start uploading. And once the upload is complete, I will see my image in my post. So what's the next step? Well, it depends on how you want to display this image on your website. There are a variety of tools and options that you can use to customize how your images show up. So to give you an example, in this little bar here, we have the option to add a filter to the image just to display it in a slightly more artistic way. I don't think this is necessarily the best looking option with a food photo, but if we go up to this photo that I added earlier, and we click apply duotone filter, we can see that it has some pretty cool effects. So we'll stick with that for now, come back down to this image, and we'll look at the other options that we have available here. We can change the alignment of the image, we can insert a link, we can crop the image, or we can add text over the image. So let's actually do that first. We want to add some text here. We're just going to say tacos. <laughs> Again, very original. And then we can set the color for the text over here in the sidebar. We'll go with white. Uh, this isn't that interesting, but uh, if you had a headline or something that you wanted to add here on top of an image, you could definitely do that. So I'm going to undo that so we can go back and work with the image again. Once again, we can crop. If you want to apply a crop to your image, you can do that and then click apply. I'm gonna cancel. Something I often find myself doing is inserting an image and then aligning it to the left or the right so that my text will wrap around the image. That way it doesn't take up that much screen real estate with just the image itself. So the way I typically do that is I'll set the image size to thumbnail or medium. In this case, I think I'll go medium. And then you notice the image is still just sort of its own standalone thing. So if I add some text here, we'll do some more dummy text in this section. Divide this into a couple of paragraphs. And we'll move this image up. So again, the image is very much a standalone thing here, and it looks a little bit awkward being aligned over to the left side at this particular size. So I am gonna change the alignment to align right. When we do that, you can see that the blocks that follow the image block will then automatically wrap around the image itself. So it's a great way to add some visuals, some illustration to your content, without it taking up so much space. Now, looking at these other alignments here, you'll see that the default is none. So none is not really gonna have any particular location. It'll typically be off to the left, uh, but it's different from align left, which is where the text will wrap around it to the right side. You can also align center to center the image on the page, and you can do full width if you want the image to be really big. But now you notice that the image is kind of pixelated and that's because I'm still using the medium size and the medium size has then been scaled up which makes the image kind of look like garbage. So if we go full size, you'll see that it is crystal clear. So that's how I typically handle alignment. I will usually center the image if it's just a standalone thing, or if I want it to be more decorative, I will align it to the right or left side and scale it down 
to a smaller size. And then depending on your theme, you may have some different styling options. For example, here we have the option to show a rounded image. Uh, I think the default looks better in this case. But yeah, I just wanted to look a little bit closer at the process of working with images because images are a very core part of most websites and you're gonna be working with them a lot.